know, Cindy, even though we've only known each other for two weeks, it feels like 14 days. Thanks. For me, too. Stanley, there's something important I have to ask you. Will you be my date for my debutante ball? I'd love to. Is that some kind of sporting event? Should I wear cleats? It's a, a formal dance to introduce me into society. My parents are kind of formal, too, so they're going to want to meet you and your folks first. Is this Friday OK? Yeah, that's great. <sighs> great. My mom made dinner reservations. I better get back. Can't wait. Bullethead, you're glowing. And it's not just because your trailer sits on a landfill. <laughs> Well, not for long. Cindy wants our parents to meet. I mean, I like my folks and all, but oh. you know what I'm... You're ashamed of them. No, I know how you feel. My mom wears 14 pounds of Joan Rivers costume jewelry, and my dad wears black socks and shoes to the beach. <laughs> when I am 17, I am so gone. Well, goodbye! Yo, Bullethead, check out my new gear, kid. And this time, when I got stopped by security at the mall, I had a receipt. <laughs> Romeo, what's with the clothes? Did you jack that little Jamaican boy that work at the Gap, Foot Locker, Sketches, a and Navy? <laughs> Relax, coach. This is perfectly legit. I'm just posing as Mr. Hightower's son so he could get his Mac on. I think you owe me an apology. Is that right? I think I'm gonna have me a talk with your fake daddy. Fake daddy. Shut up, Bullethead. Come on, coach, you can't do that to me. I got the new Sega Dreamcast on layaway. Steve, I mean, it's bad enough that you lying to this nice woman and her little girl, but all this nice... I know, I know. Say it, I, I know it, man. I'm horrible, man. And now I'm dragging Romeo into this whole thing. Why do I continually lie to women? <laughs> Look, now, just because you feel bad don't mean you off the hook. I know, man, I know. I got to start being a better role model for Romeo. And I got to tell Donna the truth. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, good. I'm proud. Now you got me all fired up. I have to go call my 47-year-old brother and tell him to stop asking my mama for gas money. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hightower. I need your help. There's this girl, Cindy, and I really like her, but now she wants our parents to meet. So I figured, since you're already posing as Romeo's dad, I figured you could also pretend to be mine. <laughs> Bullethead, nobody is gonna believe me as your father. Come on, Mr. Hightower, you can just tell him that, you know, you adopted him. Look, Bullethead, trust me on this one. Lying is no way to get a woman. Come on, Mr. Hightower. If, if Cindy's parents meet my parents, everything's gonna get completely messed up. I'm begging you, please. Bullethead, this is wrong, man. I can't do it. So you're saying you'll lie for yourself, but you won't lie to help me. Thanks a lot, Mr. Hightower. I'm glad you're not my dad. <laughs>